Hey, what's up? This is eTech Master 22, and as you know from the title, this is a tutorial on how to shrink macOS 10.5 Liverpool so it can fit on a single layer DVD. Now, just to recap, about two months ago, I created a video about how to create a bootable flash drive. However, if you have earlier versions of G4 Max, then there's probably USB 1.1, which is slow and it will take forever to install from USB 1.1. All you need is a Mac, Intel or PowerPC that has a DVD drive, internal or external. You will also want to have at least macOS 10.4 Tiger to do this. So, let's do it. So, here I have the original DMG file. So, what I need to do is go to the disk utility and click on new image. Name it something like OS OS 10 Leopard and save it preferably on desktop. Select the volume size to 8 GB and click Create. Then select the Restore tab. Open the original DMG file and from the disk utility, drag it onto the Source section. Drag the new file into the destination section and click restore. Type in your password and wait. This may take a while. Once it finishes, open the new file and see if all the content was copied. So we must now delete all the useless files. Press Shift Command G. And type here slash volumes slash the name of the volume name which mine is disk image slash system slash installation slash packages Now you can see here, delete all languages that you don't need, keep only one language. So I'm gonna delete all languages. And delete all the printer drivers because you can always know the specific driver for your printer.
I will keep English as my main language. Now, go to the root directory of the disk image. Open optional installs and delete the folder Xcode tools. Empty the trash. Go back to Disk Utility and create a new image, the same way as I told you before. Name it something like Leopard DVD. No, wait. At the end, name the volume name Mac OS 10. Install DVD. The only difference now is that you must select 4.7 GB instead of 8 GB and click create. So one file I forgot to delete is the Asian language support. So I'm gonna trash that. Empty the trash and now it should work. Go back to the restore tab. Select the 8 GB file as the source and the 4.7 GB as the destination. Click restore. Enter your password and you should be good to go. Verify that it has successfully copied files to the new one. Then insert a blank DVD. It's a rewritable disk by the way. Okay. Select the new 4.7 gigabyte image file. Click burn. Select your optical drive that contains the blank DVD and click burn. It may take a while, so it burned successfully. You should check that the burn was successful and that you can boot from the disk just fine. As you can see there. It successfully recognized the disk as a bootable. So now I'm just going to show you that it works. So it can't boot from the disk, probably because it's an external disk drive, no, because the internal one doesn't work. But anyway, 
Now, I would like to tell you, when you will install Looper from the disk, make sure you select the correct language and customize the installation so you won't install neither printer drivers nor any language translations. You also won't have the possibility to install Xcode tools from the disk. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Hope this tutorial was useful to you. Thanks for watching.